so pretty much highlights metro booming that's why i'm looking like glistening i'm not sweaty i'm just metro booming bad and bullshit bad cooking up dope with a oozy my niggas are savage ruthless we got thudders and hundred rounds too guys it's daji ma and i'm here with another tutorial it's been a minute i've been taking a break i've been focusing on instagram tutorials and stuff so if you um are interested in my instagram tutorials i upload them every monday and wednesday on my Instagram is at Daji Imara, all my social media, my Snapchat, my Twitter, Daji Imara, no space. Um, so yeah, so this is a look I came up with. I don't know what the hell I'm going to call it, but here's what it is. Um, so I did like a smoky eye. I did some gold. I did a yellow liner. I did a lot. You know, this ain't really nothing. I just came up with some shit. Just started putting some colors together and boom, here it is. So if you guys are interested in how to get this look, then stay tuned. Um, if you enjoy it, thumbs up and subscribe and share it with anybody else who, you know, would be interested in this. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next Okay, so I did this eye already, as you can see. Metro Highlight Metro Boomin. You know, I'm just, I'm just fly, like halfway fly, but I'm, you know, but I did just want to, you know, give a shout out to this highlight though. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is, um, start with my transition colors. Okay, so like always, I am taking the Tartlet palette, let me show you, and I'm using the colors Multitasker and Dreamer, which are these two brown colors right here. And those are going to be my transition colors. So I'm going to start with Multitasker. And try not to bring it too far out, but just enough. So I'm blending this. Now in with Dreamer, I'm going to put that like directly in the crease. Now I'm going to take my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And put a base on my lid so now with my Naked Basics palette I'm going to take the color Crave this black color and I'm going to apply this on my lid and not really focus like on the center of my lid so just and I'm just going to use dabbing motions because I already did my face and I don't want any fallout so and I feel like you get more product when you dab your eyeshadow rather than sweeping it unless it's like the transition color All right, now I'm taking my uh, ColourPop Millionaire little uh, Shadow Shock, yeah, Shadow Super Shadow, uh, Super Shock Shadow. I'm going to apply this in the middle, where I missed the black eyeshadow. So I'm taking my finger, because these things apply much better when you have when you do it with your finger rather than an eyeshadow brush. All right, now I'm taking my NYX uh, Vivid Brights liner and I'm going to wing out my line. Because, you know. So I'm looking down in my mirror, so hopefully you guys can see it. Okay, I think I got it. I'm going to have to clean it up some, but for the most part, it looks pretty good. So I'm going to add my um, favorite mascara at the moment, which is the Maybelline Big Shot Mascara. So that's what I'm using. Okay, so with the Naked Basics palette, I'm taking the number WOS and Venus, and I'm going to highlight underneath my brow bone. Alright, now I'm going back with that um, ColourPop color, the 
pigment, the gold pigment, and adding that underneath. Now I'm taking the color, this highlighting color from my um, Black Radiance Contour Kit in the medium to dark, and I'm adding that in my inner tear duct. Taking that and adding it there. And then also, and I'm also learning, you know, how to use my inner tear duct as far as adding, you know, color in there because I don't feel it looks that great on me because I have such a wide nose. Like my nose doesn't look wide now because it's contoured, but there's still bone right here. Like people who, I feel like people who look good when they put, you know, makeup and inner of their tear duct don't have... They're, like my bone is literally right here and it's blocking so I don't have any space between my nose and my eye so people who have space in there I feel like when they put it in the inner tear duct it just opens their eyes and it just makes it look so bad me it just looks like I'm just piling makeup on my eye so I'm trying to really learn like how much I need to add in there how much you know what colors best fits you know things of that nature then I'm also going to go in with the color um, glow stick it's another ColourPop pigment, and I'm going to add that on top of that. Kind of make this color like a little more yellowy. You know? So I'm adding a couple different type of golds. I'm very glowy. Like, this is this should have been a summer look, <laughs> honestly. Like, highlight, metro booming, got the yellow liner, got the gold, smoky eye, got the inner tear duct. Like, I'm like, this is a lot of glow, you know? I'm like blind a couple people today. I don't know. This might have not been the best idea. Alright, I'm gonna add my lashes and I'll be back. Okay, so now that I did my lashes, I'm going to put on some lipstick and all that good stuff. I don't know what I'm about to do, so I'm about to just freestyle. So I'm adding my lip MAC lipstick in Chestnut, which I pretty much wear every single day. I don't know how it's not gone. I've had this over a year. Look how much is left, and I use it almost every damn day. Because I feel like MAC has the absolute best like lip liners. And this is like my favorite color for like my complexion. Like, yes, Mac. So I got that one there. Now I'm going to add the color Tool from ColourPop. I ha rarely wear this. So let's see. Alright, so this is the finished product. So, if you guys enjoyed this, I still haven't decided what I'm going to name it. When this video is uploaded, that's when the name will be released, clearly. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this and subscribe, obviously. Definitely press that red bell so you get a notification whenever I upload. Share it if you enjoyed it. Thumbs up. Leave suggestions or comments below. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.